how lovely everyone was about it and how supportive everyone was about it and seeing other disabled viewers and audience members and community members and also other disabled content creators being so invested in it was just the nicest thing. (laughs) I am Molly Evans. I am a disabled content creator and also an activist uh, for EDI within the gaming space. So in terms of getting involved with EDI initiatives, I think it was less of a choice and more like a compulsory thing of being disabled and also being a woman in the gaming space isn't the funnest thing in the world. Um, So I think it was just something that I and also a lot of my like friends and fellow content creators fell into because we had to, because otherwise what like it's going to be a terrible place for people that come after us it's going to be a terrible place for people that come after them and so it it just was a natural progression of falling into that um I think like my proudest well I mean both my proudest like EDI moment and also my proudest moment as a streamer was um July is disability pride month in the UK and this year I was able to organize six streams for that month um and it was just so wonderful like I literally was like let's just see how this goes and how it works out and the amount of support it got and the amount of like um attention it received and how lovely everyone was about it and how supportive everyone was about it and seeing other disabled viewers and audience members and community members and also other disabled content creators being so invested in it was just the nicest thing. (laughs) Most of my content revolves around EDI and um, education around it, like to the best of my ability. Um, And so I think it's very clear when you uh, like enter onto any of my socials or any of my content where I stand on things. Um, So I'm very, very lucky that because of that, I've sort of got a community around me that is like-minded is very much um, invested in the idea that the gaming industry and the gaming sphere needs to be more inclusive, it needs to be more equal, it needs to be more diverse. Like it just, it's sort of just, I, I, th- I think it should be part of everybody's content, um, but I understand that's not feasible for everybody. So I think for me, it's a very big part of mine. And so I just, ended up having a very lovely community around me. (laughs) In terms of being marginalized, I feel like um, it's it's still very much that disabled people are not included in gaming in terms of like employment, the workforce, gaming characters within marketing or anything like that. Disabled people just are not included. And wonderfully, there's like this huge push at the moment for accessibility and accessibility options within games and accessible hardware for people uh, and making events accessible there's this huge push for it which is wonderful Uh, and I love that and I really hope it leads to more disabled people entering the industry as a whole because there's no point making your games accessible for disabled people and then them not being able to partake in making it Um, and so I think because of that there's a very big, there's a very big um, amount of ignorance within just the general like gaming population towards disabled people and what it is like to be disabled or what a disabled person looks like. And so um, I think there's like every other day in a uh, online game where um, you'll hear a lot of disabled slurs thrown around which is like my favorite thing ever um and I think it just comes from a place of these people don't know disabled people they don't see disabled people and the gaming industry could have a huge part in changing that and changing the language around disabled people and changing the viewpoint um and I feel like that would help disabled people and disabled gamers so much in addition to the accessibility that's now being included in games um, I feel like organizations like Women in Esports are so important because it is that thing of representation does matter. And I think the only people that say it doesn't are the people that already see themselves represented. And so Women in Esports 
The fact that we need an organization for women to be in esports, I think, says a lot in itself. Um, because, like, the default is cis men when it should just be everyone, and it's not. And so, initiatives like this are important because it should just be across the spectrum of gender, it should be across the spectrum of race, of like able bodied to disabled, it should be just everyone. Um, and I think obviously there are a lot of people that would prefer it not to be that way. Um, and so for women in esports to exist, it's so important to have that pushback and to have that sort of statement that other people belong in gaming is wonderful. In terms of the future for gaming um, and the opportunities it brings, I really just, I really am <laughs> trying to stay optimistic for it. And I am optimistic um, because I think all, like gaming is such a new industry. It's such a new community. Like gaming has been around for decades, but it's only recently that it has grown in the way that it has. And so I feel like there's so much room to improve and to increase the diversity within it because I mean on a time scale like the amount of time gaming has been around has been nothing um, and so there's so much room to improve everything and have more inclusion within it and more inclusion in the workforce which will then eventually lead to more diversity in games um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm optimistic for it. In terms of who's been influential to me in this space, um, I'm going to name drop Cassie, who's actually at the summit as well. Um, Cassie and um, the community of women of colour in this gaming space have been doing this work for so much longer than like I have as a white woman or any white women in this space have been doing. And so honestly, if there's anyone to look towards, it's those communities it's their communities because they just know what they're doing they know what they're talking about way more than I ever will I was honored to be a part of it um because like I am just along for the ride I'm just I'm, I'm basically just using my platform to do what I think is best for the community and best for my communities and stuff um and I think summits like this help so much with that because that if you are bringing in a, a diverse group of people together and you are able to mix their knowledge together and share it with people, you're going to get a much better outcome and a much better education from it than, say, if you are just following one person or two people that know a lot about something specific. It's, it's basically like an education podcast that you can just sit down and listen to. Um, and just gain a whole bunch of knowledge from a whole bunch of different people. And so I'm honored to be here.